New CD Visa 2017 Review New CD Visa Super Mini is first to get VW Group's latest platform tech and now sets the class standard. Verdict 4 Star The new Evisa sets a new benchmark in the Super Mini sector and, once monthly finance deals are available to assess, could well achieve a coveted 5 star rating. Its refinement, space, quality, and kit will be talking points, while its sense of style stands out among some pretty dull rivals. Who'd have thought it? Seat, for so long the problem child of the VW group, is flying. Sales are soaring, thanks in no small part to the brilliant Ateca SUV, with two more subs coming in the next 12 months, and now the Evisa Super Mini has been chosen to debut the group's latest small car technology. This is the first car to use the new MQB A0 small car platform, with all the lightweight and high benefits that brings. Yes, the Visa before Polo, A1, Fabia, and a host of SUV spin-offs. That would have been most unlikely just a few years ago, especially as seats tend to be pretty much as good as their sister cars, but usually with a style and price advantage. What's not to like? With the new Evisa, not much. That new platform means the car is roomier than before, in spite of being a fraction, 2 mm, shorter. It's 87 mm wider and a smidge lower than the old car, with the wheelbase stretched by 95 mm great in numbers and pretty impressive in reality, too. The car looks lower, wider, and meaner, the old car was always a bit tall and thin, while inside there's surprising space for a super mini. Up front there'll be no complaints about head, leg, and shoulder room, while in the back a couple of burly friends or three kids will be very happy. Access is pretty good, too, while three-door model has been ditched, as has the ST Estate version, leaving just this five-door model and the upcoming Arona SUV based on the same platform. Miraculously, luggage space has been boosted, too, now with 355 liters. That makes it roomier for your bags than a Ford Focus, and probably much bigger than the soon-to-be-launched Fiesta. It's an easy space to get to with a floor that can level things out for easier loading or drop for maximum capacity. So all is looking good so far and things get even better when it comes to quality. Seats Martorell factory, where the Evisa, and the forthcoming Audi A1, will be built has been churning out some of the best made cars in the group, including the Audi Q3. And looking at the bodywork of our test car, the sharp creases and tight panel fit are as good as you'll get anywhere. It's Martorell's ability to produce such strong quality that allows seats design team to indulge themselves with unusual slashes and lines on the bodywork and there are plenty on the new Evisa. Whether it's the bold line sliding down the bonnet or the blisters on the side of the car, they combine with triangular light units front and rear to give the car a really striking look, not unlike the bigger Leon. We can't imagine the new Polo will look this good. The sharp lines continue inside across the dash with its upper section used for ventilation and lower section including the rather swish 8-inch touch screen, on SE technology, FR, and excellence models. Seat says most people will be tempted out of S and SE models into the SE technology model with that big touch screen and standard navigation, S gets a 5-inch black and white touch screen that's upgraded to color on SE models. The new MQB A0 platform also means there's plenty of big car tech available from wireless mobile phone charging to adaptive cruise control. Seat has also teamed up with hip audio company Beats to produce a decent audio upgrade that's yours for £304 not bad for the depth of sound on offer. The scrimpers have visited Seat though you have to pay £150 to get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity on all but FR and Excellence models. Keeping the costs down also means some of the plastics on the dash and door tops don't have the squishy feel you might like. They look fine, they feel okay to the touch, it's just when you prod them that there's no give. For us, it wouldn't be a reason not to buy this car. The way the car drives, though, is one of the biggest reasons to put the Evisa on your super mini shopping list. As with every other VW Group MQB car, 
the Ibiza has a grown-up feel to it that the sector hasn't seen before. It's quiet very quiet. Our car had the 114BHP 1.0 liter 3-cylinder turbo engine that's punchy, 0 to 62 miles per hour in 9.3 SECS, frugal, claimed 60.1 mpg average, and refined. There's a bit of a 3-cylinder growl if you push hard, but most of the time things are really hushed. At a cruise, you'll hear the wind rushing past the angular door mirrors, but that's more due to the overall silence inside rather than excessive wind noise. The gear shift is slick and easy, while the steering is positive and secure, but without much in the way of feel another MQB trait. The FR trim that this engine comes with in the UK is a touch firmer than other models thanks to its 17-inch alloys and stiffer suspension, yet it's not uncomfortable over bumps and it eliminates the tiny bit of body roll you'll notice in other versions. There are normal and sport settings, too, although in reality you'll be hard pushed to tell the difference between the two the FR is very much a mild hatch, bordering on the warm. You'll eventually be able to get it with a 148BHP 1.5 liter engine, which we also tried. It's yet to be homologated so there are no performance figures yet or prices but it only marginally improves performance, while lacking some of the three-cylinder motor's charm. Other engine options include 74 and 94 BHP versions of the three-cylinder engine, while Wisely diesels don't appear on the UK price list. Talking of which, the starting price of £13.130 is a little ahead of Ford's new Fiesta, but about PAR for the course. The best seller is likely to be the £15,255 SE technology model with the 94 BHP 1.0 liter engine. Key Specs Model, CD Visa FR 1.0 TSI 115 PS Price, £16,630 Engine, 1.0 liter 3-cylinder, 114 BHP Transmission, 6-speed manual, front-wheel drive 0-62 mph slash top speed, 9.3 SECS slash 121 mph Economy slash CO2, 60.1 mpg slash 108 g slash km. Equipment, alloy wheels, 8-inch touchscreen, navigation, CarPlay, and Android Auto, LED DRLS. On sale, now.